2000 and today I'm bringing you a video on this bad boy, the Seastar S50. Uh, I went to Neef back in April and I was thinking about getting this before I bought it for maybe doing outreach or show the kids, get them a little bit more involved. But then I saw it there and I was like, that thing's pretty sweet. And for the price, the introductory price was $400, you got a nice discount. Um, so anyway, I've been anxiously waiting to get it to see how it is. So in this video, I'm going to get this thing opened. It's supposed to be crappy weather tonight, and I'm pretty sure tomorrow night, and probably for the next week after that now that I got this. So let's get this thing open and see what we got. Would you look at that? Sea Star. All right, cool. Case looks pretty sick, but that's great. Let's see what's inside of it. Hmm. I mean, I gotta admit, I'm really impressed. I mean, it's only tripod. Sweet. Nice. Looks like the ones that come on the AM5 and the AM3. Well, just a mini version, same style, carbon fiber. So that's pretty cool. Let's move this over, put this down. What else we got? Nice, the solar filter, some snacks for later, fruit snacks. Just kidding, please don't anybody eat that. This is just a USB cable. And a bunch of instructions, quick start guide. All right, reading material for later. Let's get this case is pretty cool looking. I don't know what material this is made of, it's like some kind of a lightweight foam, but it's pretty dense. So, there's no other way to screw this on other than you put it on. Okay, it's on. Dang. Connect. Enter app. And then I got to connect the Wi Fi. So this has its own Wi Fi that you have to connect to. And back out, back out, connected, sweet. Okay, let's go in here and turn the anti-do on now. Uh, sorry if it's a little windy. Guys, it's uh, probably like eight mile an hour uh, gust of wind. Okay, so let's check this out. Uh, assuming, stargazing. Oh, it's telling me how to use the app. Okay. Tap this to enhance the image. These can adjust the image. You can turn the light pollution filter on before enhancing. Try the elephant trunk. Okay, we're gonna go to the elephant trunk, see if that's better. I wonder if it allows you to rotate the camera framing. That would be sick, has to, assuming.
Okay, I don't think I really like that framing. So let's pin. Look here. Finding object. Okay. Object is centered. Let's do another focus. Okay, autofocus is done. We're on the elephant trunk. Um, let's. Am I missing anything else here? Not really much else. Okay. Start enhancing image. <laughs> been well it's been 45 minutes and this thing's still going I have to say for 45 minutes for the little stretch that this thing did on here this looks pretty good I'd like to export it out and process it a little further to uh, see what we get so I'm gonna uh, let this keep going for a little bit and then I'm going to wrap up the uh, video and show you guys at the end how I was able to make out with this process a little further but I have to say overall I'm really impressed that I mean all I did was put this thing down out here and then go inside my house and control it um, well not control it you guys saw me get it going but I was able to um, check in and keep an eye on it from inside my house it gets uh, much further Wi-Fi uh, reach than the ASI Air Plus, that's for sure. So it's pretty impressive. And you're able to connect up to two um, objects at once, like my tablet and my phone. So, um, yeah, I'm going to push this a little further, get some more images with this, and let's see what it can do. I mean, uh, I'm pretty impressed with this for 45 minutes of imaging. Maybe I'll let it go to an hour or so and then I'll, I'll wrap it up and then, like I said, uh, clean the image up in the video and show you guys, well not you guys, me too, what, what this thing can do. Alright, so I'll be back. Um, actually, I won't be back. I'm going to wrap this up and then at the end of the video I'll show you guys the final image.